Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todabert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us we have the Texan PL118. It's an FM stereo portable pocket radio. Yes, I said FM stereo. I love my FM stereo. Um, this is an FM only radio. Uh, yeah, I like my AM, but I have so many radios right now. I figure getting a radio with just FM is not a big deal, and this is really cool. So let's check it out. Here's the box, Reaching the World, PLLDSP Radio, pocket size, Texan for the listener. Model number, FM frequency ranges, which you can toggle, which is nice, so those who need 76 to 108 can use it. We have FM stereo, like I said, I love it. Uh, we have a clock, alarm, ETM feature. It says it on the sides of the box, I believe. Color choices. Okay, all pretty basic there. DSP technology. So back here, reaching the world. Okay, FM stereo via headphones, of course. ETM auto tune and store all available stations. LCD display, sleep timer. You can read all that stuff. So there's a picture in white. Cool, mine's black. All right, let's open this up and see what we get. So let's open this here. Let's see, we got some stuff. Okay, I know there's some directions in here. Let me grab those. That box should be empty. Okay. So what do we get in the box? We got some paperwork. Always fun. This is Kato. I bought this on Amazon through Kato. Uh, their Texan radios come with a warranty, which is great. So if you're in the States, you get a one-year warranty, I believe. Uh, through them, and they're right in California, which is great. So you send this in and get this registered. I think it has a little thing on the back here for you to do. All right, so that's that information. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Texan. Let's see, it's uh, Operation Manuel. Picture of the radio there. Talks about uh, DSP. All right, let's open this up. Okay, so we get a little diagram of what the controls do. Very simple. Very easy to use radio. I like it. There's the LCD display and what's on there. Pause and look at that information. I'll try to go over all that during this video. We have like more information, listening to the radio, the ETM feature, manually tuning, listening with the headphones. Kind of a cool feature with that, which I'll talk about. Setting the clock, alarm by radio. I usually don't use the alarms, but it's good that it's there in case you need it um, in a pinch. There's the change the frequency with the ETM when the power is off. Important matters for using batteries. You guys can pause that if you need to know about that stuff. And specifications. This is important to a lot of people. I don't really pay attention to most of that. As long as the radio performs, I'm happy. So there you go. All righty. So let's go over that radio. Let's get this put aside. All right. The radio comes bubble wrapped. I like to see that. That is a nice thing. Texan does that all the time. And here is the radio. Nice little black guy. I like this. All right, small. So let's go over dimensions. Four inches across, two and three eighths of an inch high, and three quarter inch case depth. Amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and give you a little size comparison. I have CC Pocket. As you can tell, the CC Pocket's a little bit bigger and a little thicker. So let's just show you the dimensions there. Yeah. So pretty close. And a deck of cards. We got Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can do it like no one can. <laughs> so it's just a little bit taller than a deck of cards, but about the same thickness and almost the same width. It's a little narrower. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about features of the Texan PL118 or 118. Um, let's see. Right away, you'll see this huge carrying strap. I like that. That is so nice, especially with a little radio. It doesn't go flying around. Plus, you can hang this on something if you have to. Very handy. Um, here on the side, we have the headphone jack. Uh, of course, it's FM stereo, and they designate that with the green sleeve, which is nice. Um, headphone experience is pretty good. It has a little low-level hiss, as to be expected, but it does sound very nice. It's not too bassy. I'm very... Uh, I like the mids and highs more than a lot of low end. So if you guys like a lot of bass and low end, you're not going to be super happy with this radio. It'll still sound okay, but um, it does have a good mid range, which I like on the headphones. Um, so that's the right hand. I mean, sorry, left hand side. Uh, on the front here, we have a speaker. 
That speaker is a pretty simple one. It is about an inch and a half, 40 millimeters is what the manual says. Model number, FM Stereo DSP Receiver. Okay, over here we have Texan. And we have this like high gloss plastic, which is going to pick up my fingerprints for sure as we operate this. Um, it had a protective thing I took off. Um, I don't know where I put that. I think I set it off to the side. But uh, yeah, it was protecting this. Decided to take it off. It had bubbles underneath it. Uh, so we have buttons. We have the clock function to set the clock. We have the alarm feature to set the alarm. We have the ETM mode to, set, to run an ETM, which we'll do today. Uh, we have volume to change the volume. And we have power and sleep function on that button. Pretty nice. As you can see, the display is showing the 24-hour clock. There's no way to toggle that to 12 hours. It's only 24-hour, which most people don't mind. Uh, here we have a battery level indicator. Right-hand side, we have the tuning. And when you tune it, it's like a notched variety, so it's digitally tuned. And you can see it has a little amber light here. So you can see that I'm going to try to run that. When we do an audio test, I'll turn the lights off and see how bright that looks on the camera. So top of the radio, we have a real antenna. So <laughs> I've done a lot of radios, and you guys know that they always put the antenna in the strap. And I, I hate that when they do that. So this little radio comes with an antenna. <laughs> now, it doesn't swivel 360 or anything, but it extends out quite a bit, 13 inch. So I thought that was pretty nice. Um, so yeah, definitely cool to see a real antenna on a little radio like this. Very, very impressed. And it does really well. Uh, here's a vented cabinet. Here we got some Chinese writing. Uh, there's your band information. Put that on there to get a little holographic sticker there. As you can see, this is a fingerprint magnet, but eh, it's a little radio. I don't mind. It runs on two AAA batteries. That's the orientation. Um, I can open this up, I think, on camera. Hopefully get it back in there. So the positives go to the right-hand side, just like the picture. Okay. So I, get this. Yeah, I don't usually like to do this on camera because that's always a hassle getting it on there. Oh, look at that. I lucked out. <laughs> I got it on there. All right, cool. So let's go ahead. We'll do an audio test. I'll have to probably lower this down. This radio is so small. Uh, so I'm going to bring this down a little bit here. Zoom it on in. Probably going to bump it more, but that's all right. Okay, so we're going to turn this on with the power button here. Now, if I press and hold it, it'll let me cycle the sleep mode. So you can set the sleep. These are in minutes. So 5, 10, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. 120 minutes. It's pretty good. It shows that sleep is on. There's our volume. Frequency. FM, of course. It's FM only radio. So we're running at 92.9, which is my transmitter. I'll go ahead and run this music for a little bit. So turn the volume up. You have to hit volume. There we go.
Okay, so you get the idea. <laughs> Down to zero there. Um, yeah, so the little static you heard was the uh, the power uh, from the MP3 device. I was actually touching the connection, and it was actually giving feedback to the radio. So if you're wondering what that static sound was, it's not the radio. It is the transmitter and some little power issues with that. So um, kind of interesting. Uh, I was able to recreate that while it was playing. So right, I'm going to turn off some stuff here, turn off the transmitter. Okay, cool. So we're going to go over, I didn't talk about a few features, which I want to do. Uh, first, the FM reception report. I uh, usually like to go over that with you. FM reception, this thing is really, really good. Uh, for a little tiny radio like this, I took my usual spot where I test my FM radios on my couch upstairs and uh, sit there and I get you know, no obstructions typically up there. Um, and it's an outside wall, so I get some pretty good reception to the where most of my stations are to the south, southeast. Um, so here's what we had. So FM sensitivity was good to very good. I got about close to 70 stations with this radio. Yeah, I was pretty impressed. 70 stations with this 13-inch antenna. Just an amazing little radio. Really good. And it comes down to that. It's amazing. for Three and a half star rating. Got to love it. Um, FM selectivity is going to get a four star rating. Very good. And the reason why is the separation was perfect. Spot on. I was getting stations I don't normally hear on my analog radios. And I definitely don't hear on some of the cheaper um, FM radios, you know, those little, I don't know which ones I've done lately, but some of those cheaper FM AM radios that just don't perform as well as they could. This one here was rocking. So definitely gets a four-star rating, very good rating for FM selectivity because it has such great separation on the stations. Now, of course, if we had a bigger antenna or I clipped a wire on here, we'd probably get even better. So um, it's just letting you know this little tiny radio is a rocking little machine. I love it. Um, so I want to talk to you about volume. So volume control is kind of interesting. It is a smart volume. And what we mean by that is when you plug in your headphones, say I had that volume at 30, and you have to plug your headphones in, and you forget they're in your ears when you do that, all of a sudden you get hurt. Well, when you put the headphones in, it automatically changes the volume to 8, which is really nice, so you don't hurt yourself. And then when you unplug your headphones, it automatically goes back up to 15. So it's a nice little thing. It kind of goes to mid-level automatically when you go back to your speaker. I kind of thought that was a neat touch for a little radio like this. Did not expect that. Um, so definitely they're thinking about you and protecting your ears. So I'm really happy about that. Real nice. So let's go ahead. Uh, I am going to do an ETM scan, and we're going to go through the band. We're going to do an FM band scan. Yep, I don't normally do it, but we're going to with this radio. Have some fun and see what kind of stations we pick up. Now, I may not hover on music because you know how that is with YouTube <laughs> and music. I'll go pretty quickly, but we'll see what this thing can do. So I'm going to hit ETM. Now, it never states in the book how many memories you get, but I got upstairs. When I was upstairs with this radio. The downstairs, I probably won't find as much. Yeah, I'm already seeing less. But I got over 60 on the memory upstairs. So really neat um, that it's that sensitive, and it does have more than what you need for memories, which is great. So let's go ahead and turn the volume up. Okay, hit the button. So we got music on A7.7. Let me just um, get off that station. <laughs> okay. Wait to get up and go greet the Lord um, and make that cup of coffee. Lately, I've been down in Cocoa Beach, Florida, been doing a, a reality show and working out here. The ETM is there. And get up early, now you can down, my cup of coffee. go back and forth, I, which is nice. The Office of Readings. I we also have where you can turn ETM uh, off. Now you're in frequency mode. So now it tunes in the uh, 100 kilohertz steps. So you can fine tune stations. Which is, I find, pretty handy. Wow, a lot of music going on here today. Okay, so we'll go through the right ETM, see what it found. The weekend. Ah, enough said. Positive, encouraging Caleb. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. So I'm just gonna say it. A certain book in the Bible 
which I absolutely love doing. So this summer we are doing something a little bit different. We're not necessarily going through a specific book in the Bible, but we are we're going through our church statement of faith, the core doctrine of Christianity. I, I know who I am. Who we my brother. warranty on all their sheets and comforters. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use promo code ROCK at Illinois. All proceeds benefit the Andrew Wisher Foundation, a charity bringing joy and easing the burdens faced by families battling cancer. Full story at wishfest.com. Get your tickets for this one night music festival featuring... All day at the office and on the ride home. As we dedicate the day to you, we'll feature you and your favorite classic rock songs throughout the day. Plus, we'll put you on the radio and send you a Daily Driver t-shirt to commemorate the occasion. Head out on the highway. DRB.com now to send us your song as we put you... We speak it, it's kind of funny, why'd you... Good time. really slowed me down. I kept putting off getting it checked until it grew worse, and my wife nagged me to get it checked out too. I scheduled a no-cost consultation at Pacific Vein Care. At 6.50 a.m. Eastern, but we've been going through the life of St. Paul with him too, so we are really stoked about going to Greece. We're probably going to have some stand-up paddling involved somewhere, but cool. we're going to go in the footsteps of Paul. Okay, that gives you an and, idea. Uh, like, it's way more stations upstairs. <clears throat> if I sat here and went through the stations manually, we'd find more. Over to Ephesus, you know, the great church of Ephesus that he helped uh, with, and uh, where Mary and John were, it says. And then the, uh, then the island of Patmos, so and then to the off. island where... Person hold that. Yeah, so you got the nice little amber backlight. You got the nice clock feature, which is cool. Runs on two AAA batteries. You know, it, it's okay. I wish it, you know, I can't really wish it for more battery power, but um, it is nice it has the indicator there, which I know is still working there when I turn up the volume. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, do final thoughts on this little radio. Uh, overall, um, it's impressive. If you need an FM-only radio uh, and you want it for under 20 bucks, and you want it to doodle uh, and you want it to be uh, well-made, um, go for this. I mean, I really dig it. I think this is really nice. Um, I did notice uh, when I plugged my headphones in that um, I still had to use my antenna. So uh, just letting you know that I think you still have to use the antenna when you're walking around with the radio. So if you put it in your pocket, I really wasn't getting, I was getting extra reception when I had it out of my pocket with the antenna up. Something to think about when you're using this radio that you may have to have it out of your pocket to get good reception if you're in a rural area like I am. So I just want to give you that information because I forgot to earlier. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I like the volume control. It's simple. You have to hit the button to do it, but that's okay. It would have been nice to have a separate one here, but I can see it's not a bad thing. Uh, let's see. Alarm has an alarm feature for you. Uh, you have that expanded mode where you can change your um, band 76 to 108 just by holding that down when the power is off and you can go back to your normal. If you live in the States, 87 to 108. So, yeah, I love that. It's a good little feature. It has enough memories. Like I said, I think there's 99 memories in here. So it's gonna, you know, it's enough to pretty much cover the whole FM band, which is fantastic. So it's a little small size, you know, perfect little FM radio. Um, if that's all you need, this is definitely a winner in my book. Gets a recommended buy from the old Tybert. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video and the presentation of the Texan PL118, please give me a like. I appreciate it. Big thumbs up. Um, I try to give you guys good content, cool reviews. Uh, if you want to know more about this radio, let me know. I don't know. Maybe I could pit this radio against a bigger DSP radio and see how they fare. That might be kind of fun, right? Little little David versus Goliath, maybe. We could do a this versus the EP Pro or this versus maybe the, I uh, can't remember my other ones. But yeah, you know, some of those bigger those bigger radios that have DSPs in them. So it'd be kind of fun <laughs> if you're looking for FM performance and how they compare to each other. So it'd be kind of an interesting thing. So also... Um, if you're new to the channel and you love Texan radios, um, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. I have quite a few. If you want, check out the Texan playlist. I'll have it over here at the end of the video. Um, you can go through all the radios I've reviewed. I have quite a few Texans uh, in-house. <laughs> Just amazing the amount of Texan radios I own. It is crazy. <laughs> I do like them, though. They're fun. Especially this one. This is just an easy purchase and just a good thing. And also, if you're going to buy this radio, I'll put a link down below for it. 
Uh, if you buy the radio um, through Amazon, through my link there, it helps my channel out. Uh, you buy the radio, it doesn't cost you anything. And then Amazon sends me a little 4% bonus for sending you their way and you're happy. And then the channel gets supported a little bit, probably like 40 or 50 cents typically uh, for a radio like this. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. If you do buy one, I think you'll have fun. I really do. I, I'm enjoying this little guy. I had it upstairs while I was testing it. My wife was singing along to some of the music, which was kind of fun. <laughs> she normally doesn't like me in my radios, but since it's FM and I was playing music, she was all happy about that. <laughs> so it made her happy, made me happy. <laughs> you know how that works. Um, <laughs> so yeah, three, comment below. We think about the PL118. Do you love it? You get something you would own, even though it doesn't have AM. Uh, like I said, I am an AM FM guy. And I like it all in one package. But to be honest with you, I don't mind carrying, like I carry my uh, Magnavox 39. You guys know about that radio? Yeah, here it is. I had my, I always have it with me. This bad boy. <laughs> There's a size difference for you. I carry this big old dude with me all the time. And it just says AM. So, yeah, I mean, I have purpose radios. Like, you know, if I want to do my AM, I'll do that. And if I want to do FM, you know, I'll bring out this radio. So, because I really like how this sounds on the speaker alone. And this will be neat on a walk, and uh, I think I'll be happy with this. So definitely for an FM radio, I'll, I'll definitely bring this one with me. Um, so yeah, that's my opinion, <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, four, uh, after hours with, uh, with the Patreon there, uh, Toddbert, after hours, come on over. Check it out. Click the little icon. A lot of cool old-time radio shows for you guys. Uh, a lot of uh, cool support if you want to support the channel. Uh, different reward tiers uh, give you certain privileges. There's some cool uh, content that I add to the patreon all the time uh for those people who support me so you guys are awesome i'd like to see some more faces that'd be great um and you will have a good time definitely we all have a good time over there uh so definitely something to do after the video uh and then five of course um if you see this radio you love it purchase the link below if not you can also go to my website radio waves by .com, and you can shop new radios all day long there'll be a picture of the radio with a review link underneath, you click the review link, you watch my YouTube video, and if you love the review and you like the radio, then you go back, click the link to the Amazon, it takes you right there, and you can buy the radio and support the channel at the same time, again, indirectly uh, for you, which is great. No money out of your pocket, and you're happy with your new radio. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the support you've given me, um, celebrating my coming up on a year since I've started this channel. So uh, as far as reviewing the radios, I know my about section says I started the channel in 2006, which I did pretty much. Uh, but as far as doing radio reviews, I started in 2017, November. So we're getting close. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye. Mm -hmm.